Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am participating in another challenge. <laughs> That's what I've been doing for months so far because I love crafting and I love participating in challenges. So, one more and uh, many more to go. This is the Trash to Treasure Second Hand Summer 2020 Challenge. It's hosted by Domestic Diva 76 and Lisa and Company. You will find the link to their channels in the description box along with the link to the playlist with all the videos that are going to be entered in this channel. Challenge! <laughs> you know that I always say channel when it's challenge! Okay, this must be the 100th time that I said that. Um, please visit the playlist and the hostess's channels because you will find so many wonderful new ideas there. Everything you may think of or may need inspiration for, you will find it there. So please pay a visit. Um, I'm going to use this canvas that a uh, couple of weeks ago, maybe, I made another video. I made a board with one canvas exactly like this one. I told you that I had two. Uh, my daughter and I are dumpster divers and we found these canvases at the dumpsters at Michael's. Dumpster, it says one dumpster at Michael's. Of course they are broken so that's why they threw them to the garbage. To the garbage, sorry. So I'm going to use the second one today. By the way, our channel is Dumpster Chicks and I will leave the link to that channel also in the description box. It's a lot of fun to see us showing off the treasures we find at the dumpsters. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this side to um, make a creation that I hope is going to look pretty good. <laughs> First, I'm going to add these pieces of um, cardstock. They are from Dollar Tree. They come in a pack of 14. They are wall borders. They are usually sold for teachers. They are you can find them where the teacher staff is located at Dollar Tree. I'm going to add one here and another one here. So I'm going to use E6000 because I tried other glues and I couldn't find anything that would adhere well to the texture of this canvas. So I'm going to use this adhesive and I will add just a bit some, some, some places, some parts, like the borders. A little bit here. This is going to be located here. Now I'm going to add, sorry, I'm moving the camera, this other piece. And now what I'm going to add is these stickers. 
they are wall stickers from Dollar Tree and um, I have already cut them out because I don't want the whole thing together I'm going to place this as I like this is missing here I'm going to place this word right here. Yes, I like it. Now the word four. These stickers are so easy to use and so many options for them, so versatile. You can use them for a lot of stuff. I really love them. I've used them in frames, adhere to the glass. Okay. And this is mainly the whole thing. The only thing that I'm going to add is these pieces of burlap ribbon that I bought from China very very inexpensive and um, I'm going to add them on each side to cover the staples and so I'm going to stop here and come back because I need to ad adhere them with tacky glue it's the only adhesive I have that really uh, keep them in place. I tried and <laughs> I couldn't find anything else that worked better than that. So I'm going to do that off camera. I will, I'm going to wait for the glue to uh, dry and I'll be back when everything is finished. So bear with me. Okay guys, I'm back. Now my creation is finished. I added the burlap ribbon all around the frame with tacky glue you can see and guess where I got this yes in the dumpster this very big um, bottle of tacky glue I found it my daughter and I found it in the dumpster also as well as the canvas at Michael's so this was solid gold <laughs> Um, it was the only adhesive that kept the burlap in place. I tried all what I had at home, nothing worked. It has a problem, as you can see there are some kind of stains that I really don't mind. I really don't mind. I really like how it looks. I'm not completely sold about the bow here. It's pinned right now because I'm not sure if I'm going to leave it or not. I feel that as my house is all in the core in a farmhouse style, it matches better with the bow. But without the bow, it looks great. It looks more elegant, I think. Um, I don't know, maybe it's just my idea. So I'm going to try with the bow for a while. If I really like it, I will glue it. If not, I'm going to remove it and use it without it. 
but basically this is the creation I have for you today um, I hope you really like it as I do and uh, it's simple quick and easy <laughs> and it's really trash to treasure literally trash to treasure so please visit the host's channel and um, visit the videos in the play playlist thanks for hosting to both of them and uh, please give me a thumbs up if you like this video subscribe if you haven't done it already ring the bell so you will be notified whenever I upload a new video and as usual thank you so 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 much for watching hope to see you in my next one and have a wonderful wonderful day bye bye